Hello, everybody. Welcome to join us. This is Nash from Huida. Now I'm the gate of Huida Museum. Today, my topic is to introduce the Huida Museum to you. Uh, this museum records the Huida's development history and also the development of China uh, sanitary ware industry. And uh, building this museum, museum is not only to memory Huida's Fact, uh, Huida factories development, but also show our love and praise to the sanitary wear. So let's begin our museum tour. Please come with me. Please come in, please. Here you can see a painting. Here uh, show the big event of Huida's development history, and uh, later I will introduce this event one by one. So come with me now. Please. Uh, in this showroom, we displayed many, many old cultural relic relics. Now you can have a look first. All the relics were displayed in the showrooms. And uh, after seeing this, I think all of you can find one thing. In ancient China, most of, most of sanitary wire were made of wood and metal, not like now, we made of uh, ceramic. Now, first, I want to introduce, introduce these two uh, cultural relics to you. This is one pot, this is one plate, they are one site, and uh, it has history, I think, over 3,000 years ago, and at that time, there is a very old dynasty called Zhou Dynasty in China history. And what does they use for? It's used for washing your hands. Take me for example, if you want to visit my house, you want to wash your hands, then I put some water in this pot. And then put the water into your hand, you wash your hand, and the dirty water, I mean the used water, will go into this plate. It's very hygienic and clean, right? That means the people at that time, 3,000 years ago, already very clever, right? So come with me with the next, uh, next uh, cultural relics. This one, we can see this is a wooden bathtub in Han Dynasty. It has over uh, 2,000 years history. And uh, what I want to say is that even now, if you use the wooden bathtub in your bathroom, it's still very classical, very nice and elegant, right? This, this thing proves one truth. That is, uh, the classical will never be out of date, right? Okay, with this one. This one has a history, I think, more than 1,000 years, and it's from Song Dynasty. It's a urinal. In, China, in Chinese, we call it hu zi. What does hu zi mean in English? Uh, it means little tiger. You can see from the appearance, right? It looks like a little tiger, very lovely, right? Okay, we finish this one. We see next one. Please come with me. Here, we see this wooden toilet. Uh, it, it was used in over 150 years before, and a very, very famous Chinese queen, her name is Cixi, used this toilet. You can see here is a, a white handle here, and behind the wooden toilet, there is a tank. And you push, you pull the handle, and then the, the water flush. It's quite like the toilet we use now, right? So, we talk a lot about the history and, uh, of sanitary wear and toilets in ancient China. How, how about uh, Western country? And uh, here, first, I have a question for you. Who invented the first modern toilet? To, uh, I have to say this toilet is exactly the same as the first modern toilet. And uh, who invented the first modern toilet? and in which country the first modern toilet was invented? Do you know the answer? Okay, now you have f five seconds to think about it. So now, five, four, three, two, 
one. Okay, uh, I saw some of, some of my friends know the answer. Yes, this toilet, the first modern toilet, is invented by a UK gentleman, and uh, his name is John Wellington. So, how about Western uh, countries? How they use toilet? Let's see some pictures. The first picture just now I said is the, the inventor of the first modern toilet, John Wellington from UK. And next one, it is Roma's time in Europe. That means 2,500 years ago, is the toilet, it was the toilet at that time. So can you imagine how people go for toilet at that time? You can see? Yes, it's like this. It is uh, very open, right? Very public. But uh, uh, <coughs> it's not only a place for people to go to toilet, it's also a place for people to uh, make social communication, right? Not only uh, for toilet. So next one, the most important feature of modern toilet is connecting with water supply system. And after the first modern toilet was invented, many, many people uh, keep on improving it. And finally, in 1861, uh, English gentleman invented the modern toilet, uh, which is connecting with water supply systems. It's like this one. At that time, the Queen of England is the Queen Victoria, and uh, he cannot allow this toilet more. People really love that, and uh, think of it like uh, luxury items, luxury products. Just like now, we think of the brand uh, uh, Gucci, Prada, LA, something like that. Only England nobilities can own, his, can own one, this kind of toilet. And this toilet, you can see this is Victoria, the Queen Victoria toilet. It's very, very luxury, right? and uh, like, a, like a, an artwork, right? Very luxury. So, uh, now, uh, the economic developed very, very fast in recent times. The same thing goes for toilets. Now we have many different kinds of toilets. Uh, for example, one piece, two piece, wall hung, back to wall, many, many kinds. Now enter into a, enter a new era, the intelligent toilet. In my opinion, the development of toilet also means the development of human civilization. It makes our lives more convenient, more hygienic, and more healthy. It makes our daily lives more and more comfortable. Okay, just now we talked a lot about the history of sanitary wire and uh, toilets. Now I want to introduce something about Huida. As you know, Huida is located in Tangshan. And uh, some, some of my old friends know Tangshan very well. Mm. Here I have uh, one question for you. In which city in China uh, the first uh, sanitary wire was produced? Yes, you must know the answer. The first piece of sanitary wire was produced just in Tangshan city. And uh, some new friends may not be very familiar with Tangshan, so I must introduce Tangshan first. Tangshan have uh, another name called North Ceramic Capital. North Ceramic Capital. That means Tangshan is very, very famous for the production of sanitary wire. In fact, the first sanitary wire is a wash basin and produced by this gentleman, the German, the Germany, uh, the gentleman from Germany, Hans Kunt. And uh, this wash basin is very classical. I think uh, even now many countries use this classical basin, right? And also, Tangshan is not only famous for the uh, sanitary wire, but also for some daily used, daily used uh, ceramic. You can say this is a teapot, this is a bowl, this is a plate, many daily used ceramic. 
And also, Tangshan is a very important industrial city in China. Uh, for example, the, the first cement, the first railway, the first train, and also the first piece of sanitary wire were all born in Tangshan. So you, you know a little about Tangshan. Let's begin Huida's history introduction. So please come with me. This part, please. Yes, you can say this is the first office when Huida was founded in 1982. At that time, Huida only had 64 staffs, but now we already have more than 8,000 people work for Huida. It's a very big improvement. And uh, next, let me introduce our chairman, Mr. Wang Huiwen. This is the founder of, of Huida Group. He opened a great business of Huida. So please come with me with this part. In this part, we can see many, many photos. This photo wall show many leaders from government and many customers come to Huida to visit Huida. And they give us a lot of help to make Huida much more stronger. So I want you to see this. This is the model of the first production line when Huida was founded in 1982. You can see it is very simple, not large. Huida began from a very little, uh, grew up from a very little factory. You can see that. And uh, this is the seven office here. Even now, we keep this seven office in our new factory. So come with me, we see the real photo of this seven office. This is the seven little rooms at that time in 1982. Now, although we built a lot of beautiful building, beautiful production line, we still keep the seven humble rooms. Just to let us remember, Huida grew up from the seven humble rooms. We should achieve what we have, we should cherish what we have achieved. Okay, next. Now this is also some photos for some leaders come to Huida. Next, uh, I want to show some numbers and figures of Huida. Please come with me. Here, in, uh, go into this room, you can see a lot of numbers, right? So, all these numbers, all these numbers are show the development of Huida. For example, the staff number from 64 to, eight, to more than 8,400, and the output value from only 48,000 48, US dollars up to, up to 300 million US dollars. It's a great, great improvement. All these numbers show the development of Huida is always steadily and uh, continuously. So, next, next showroom, please come with me. This way. So, just now you already see the old production line of Huida. Now, this is the model of our new production line. We are very proud of that because all the device and production line nearly self developed by Huida, by ourselves. You can see this is an automatic warehouse. This is the robot glazing, this is the automatic uh, carriage and the 100 meters long cane. It's very, very advanced. I think it's the most advanced uh, production line all over China. And not only in China, but also for all of the world, it's the most advanced, advanced production line. So uh, before Huida's core business is the production of sanitary wear, but now we expand our uh, production to many other products. We see this picture. Our core business is still sanitary wear, but we expand to, for example, this is faucet and hardware, this is bus top and shower includer, 
and this is tiles, unit bathrooms, flush fittings, plastic flush fitting, curtains, bathroom cabinet, and uh, intelligent toilet. And uh, if you are a construction builders, you're sourcing for some project, you just come to Huida, you can find everything in, in your bathrooms, you can buy them. You have no need to go to this factory, that factory to choose. And Huida already become a one-stop supplier of household. So you can choose everything here. It will save a lot of time and, then the, and a lot of money to you. So next up, come with me. Here is our new building and workshop for those products. We can see this is our new R&D building, and Huida Museum is also located in this building, just in the third floor. Now we are here. And this, this is the workshop of the hardware and faucet and the cabinet workshop, brand new workshop. And this is the Huida Intelligent Workshop, uh, who produce the, which is produced the, the intelligent toilet. And this is the model there, just now we see the, the new production line of ceramic. Okay, let's see. Next, uh, I want to introduce our second generation of Huida, our CEO, Mr. Wang Yanqing. Let's see the photo of Mr. Wang Yanqing. Please come with me this way. And this is the second generation of Huida, Mr. Wang Yanqing. Now he's the, the, the CEO of Huida. He expanded many, many range of products of Huida and uh, make Huida's business stronger and stronger. Now I want to introduce this, these two pictures. These two pictures are really big event for Huida. In 2017, Huida stock listed on Shanghai main board stock exchange market. And uh, now Huida stock become one of the most important stock in all over the Chinese sanitary wear industry. Okay. Let's say next stop. Please come with me. This part is about the innovation of technology. First, we can see some pictures here. Just now we see the old model of production line. This is the, exactly the same kin at that time. You can see it is very small. And then change to next one, also small and narrow. This one, not very environmental, right? But after this, we make improvement for the production line, generation by generation. And at last, we can see this kin is very, very clean and can produce very good quality products. Also, I want to show you this toilet. Why I want to show this to you? Most of the toilet has over 20 years history. And uh, take this for example, it's over, I think, uh, 30 years old. The age may be even older than me. But if you check them carefully, you can see the glaze of the toilet is still shining. That means the quality of Huida's products is really, really very good. So buying Huida is your really very, very good choice. So come with me. Just now we see the production line, the model of production line. Now we see some real picture of the production line. You can see this is a high pressure machine. This is the automatic warehouse. And this is robot carriage and robot glazing. Very, very advanced and nearly automatic. So we see this wall, just uh, we talk about technology. Also, we got we get a lot of certification of patent. This is our patent wall. In fact, we invite a lot of money, a lot of energy, a lot of people to develop new technology. So we, so we got many, many uh, important patent. That means 
uh, our technology is leading. To be frank, we have much more certificate than this because there is no enough room, we cannot hold them. So, come with me. We not only pay much attention to the technology, but also pay much attention to the quality control. You can see these pictures from the very beginning when the material came and the, the mold and the semi-finished products, the final finished products, every stage of production, we will check, check them one by one to make sure they have good quality. And with this good quality product, you can expand your market very easy. Am I right? So come with me, let's see the evolution of our Huida brand. This way. At the very first in 1982, when Huida was founded, we have no our own brand. We did OEM for a very famous Tangshan ceramic factory called Tang Tao. But in 1984, we have our own brand. Now, we, change, we changed our brand three times. Now, the brand is like this. It's very young and very elegant and nice. Many people really like the design of the, the brand. It's very nice. Do you think so? So next, I want, to, I want you to see the, our brand value. You can see from this picture, our brand value is always going up. And in 2019, our, our brand value reached to 3.0 billion US dollars, which is the uh, most valuable brand in all over the Chinese sanitary wear uh, companies. So this way. Just uh, because of the uh, technology innovation, the quality control and our brand value, we have export our products to more than 120 countries. Many customers all over the world love Huida's products. And we have got many, many certificates all over the world. For example, CUPC, CE, Kiwa, RAS, and the KIS, many, many uh, certificates all over the world. That means where you from all over the world, Huida will have a product fit for your market. So choose us is your wise choice. So also Huida's product is used in many famous uh, successful projects. For example, very famous Beijing Olympic Games use Huida's product. And also the Perkins University as you know, Perkins University is the best university in China. This is for, and the Shangri-La Hotel, the Five Star Hotel, also use Huida's product. This is all domestic uh, product, and also all products are used, you, used in many famous uh, foreign products. This is the KDU Hospital in Sri Lanka. It's a very advanced uh, hospital uh, in Sri Lanka, and this it's a forest city in Malaysia. It's also a very, very famous product. Nearly every uh, people in Malaysia know this product. Yes, next one. This is the Seven Star Hotels in Pakistan. Very high-end, very high-end uh, hotel. Very, very nice. So Huida's development also get a lot of support from government. Let's see some Let's see some pictures here, please. If you're very familiar to China, you must know this person. This gentleman is our previous prime minister, Mr. Wen Jiabao. In 2009, Mr. Wen Jiabao came to Huida and uh, tested Huida's glaze. After testing, he said Huida's glaze was really very, very nice and shining. So next picture, this one. This is our now our prime prime minister, Mr. Li Keqiang, and uh, the that means the government from the high end, from the top of the government, that really support Huida's development. Okay, and uh, Huida's development, Huida is not only developed uh, itself, but also pay a lot of attention. 
to social responsibilities. Here, uh, some pictures show uh, what we, we do for the society. For example, this is Huida Hospital, and this is, this is primary school, and this is Huida Park. Also, the, some nursing home for, for old people. So Huida really do a lot to the society, and all donated to the society free of charge. And as you know, the COVID-19 is very, very ser serious in these years. And at the very beginning, Huida donated many products, uh, a lot of money to the people who need them. Okay, we finish this part. We go to next stage. And uh, now we nearly finished the, our tour of the Huida Museum. So at last, at last here, you will see many staffs of Huida are smiling at you. Just like me now, we are all smiling to you. So please just trust us and choose us cooperate with us and uh, grow up with us. You will immediately benefit from your wise choice and we will, I believe, we will create a brief, brief future together. So contact with us now. Thank you for watching my live show. So goodbye, thanks a lot.